ALS. That was the message today as those diagnosed and affected by the degenerative disease walked in Burlington. Local 22's Brooke Devine reports. People and dogs marched in Burlington Saturday with the mission of beating a terminal degenerative disease in mind. That disease is ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a specific and rare illness with less than 20,000 cases per year. It's like being washed over with a 20-foot wave. You don't know what to do. Before we got the diagnosis, I couldn't even spell ALS. And now you have to deal with it. Those who have lost loved ones to the disease still remember the moment they learned of the diagnosis. It strikes you, it doesn't seem so random. It's pretty pretty personal. The day kicked off with a speech from Roger Williams, who lost his son to the disease. For those of you who are going through this now, we know what you're going through. We know you need help. Fifteen people in the United States are diagnosed with ALS every day. The Northern New England chapter of the ALS Association offers tools to those affected by ALS and their families in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. The service that they offer is priceless because it is a big help. They've been through it before with other people. They know, they can see, they can tell you things that you don't know. More than 150 people walked one or two miles to raise funds for research to find a cure for ALS. 2018, I was diagnosed with ALS. And the event wasn't just for money. It was also about finding a common bond among the ALS community. Although ALS is a tragic disease, spirits were high with live music, sympathy, and encouragement. Knowing all the love and support that you're getting, it, it definitely warms your heart that people really are good. You know, one day out of the year that we can, that we can do that. So it's much more than just a fundraiser. The ALS Association raised $77,000 at this year's walk. That's up from $50,000 last year. Well, we are your local election headquarters. Democratic President.